Good morning, good morning, good morning, Amalfi Coast. Good morning to everybody. Welcome back. A new week is over Saturday. Um, this weather you can see here sums up how May until now was. Very overcast, not a lot of really sunny, 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 beautiful days. And uh, often, unfortunately, also rough sea. So um, May can be a beautiful month, spring, but can be also like this. For our boat company, it is a month we never calculate 100% in the budget because the weather does what it does. This week was also the last week with um, family members from Austria. Now the last ones will leave, my aunt and my uncle. We had a beautiful time. The longer they stay, I guess, the more difficult it is to say goodbye, especially because uh, the kids enjoyed having Maria cooking Austrian uh, food and just being here and being present for them. And then it's always a big push of speaking German logically at home. Uh, I guess in July we will go up to Austria and enjoy a beautiful holiday there. Rosie's favorite animals are snails and ants. For this, I ordered an ant farm for her to construct. While Lenny was enjoying her traverse flute lesson, Rosie started constructing with Carly, my uncle, the little ant farm we got from Spain. It's not our first time that we have an ant farm at home. Three years ago, Lenny got one for her birthday. And this ant farm stayed with us over two years. These ant farms are a great way for kids to learn everything about ants, how they work and live. After moving to our new home, Rosie desperately wanted one of these ant farms again. I personally think that this is the best way to show kids how amazing some animals in nature are. Mm -hmm. Rosie is working because she's going on spritz today and we are going out to see the Emerald Grotto and we found a cushion of our boat so we will have a little chat with the captain why we found this cushion yesterday we had rough winds and I guess the wind took away this cushion. Luckily, a friend of ours found it and brought it back. Because otherwise, this is more than 200 euro to make a new one. Some of you will remember that last year Lenny and Rosie's sister Annalisa, who did the Nautic School, used to work with us. This year Annalisa got one step closer to her dream job. She started working for a huge cruise ship company and is now cruising around the world. We are very, very proud of her because this is not an easy job. But this also means that we had to search for a new captain for one of our boats. So now we are going out for the first time with Raimondo, who will drive Spritz this year.
He will have driving lessons today with one of our captains, Luigi, who is really, really an expert. So come and enjoy our drive along the Amalfi Coast and the visit of the famous Emerald Grotto. It is easy to drive a boat and it's also easy to explain and show places but to be sure that everybody is safe on board and to know the exact rules what is allowed and forbidden you need to be trained everybody of us knows from life experience the more patient your teacher is and the more time he takes to show you everything, the better you will do your job. So here we go and best of luck for Raimondo. This is La Praia Beach. La Praia Beach is a wonderful place to go for dinner because the atmosphere in the evening in all the little authentic restaurants is unique. This is the Fjorda Furore. Don't forget when on board to take a selfie when you are here. This place for sure one of the most beautiful places we have along the coast is also one of the most photographed places. This is the famous Grotto de los Esmeraldo. How incredible nature can be and what we can find like humans in nature is unbelievable. So take a look now how wonderful the Emerald Grotto is. When you enter it's completely dark. You pay a ticket before you enter and then you do a little tour inside. But when you're on this little boat and the captain explains you and shows you the reflection of the water coming from outside, it's something really beautiful. I don't know how many times in the last 12 years I already did this cave, but still every time I come and especially with my kids, I really enjoy the little tour inside because the darkness and the light give me such a beautiful experience. Give me that for you. Looky, looky. Give me that for you. You don't forget the bottom into me. Looky, looky. This is my favorite restaurant, Da Teresa. Da Teresa is a tiny little restaurant 
located on the beach of Santa Croce. From here to Amalfi, it's maybe five minutes. So on a boating day, when you do a little bit of time in Amalfi to explore the little village, it is a perfect place to enjoy lunch in a place where you can come only by boat. I know there are so many restaurants along the coastline. There's Nerano with the ancient fisher village with a lot of famous restaurants. And there are other ones in Conca dei Marini. But since we started the boat business, Pepe and I have a special, special relationship with Anna, the owner. She really takes care of her clients. When we arrive by boat to this little place with the orange umbrellas and you get off and the first time you feel the pebbles under your feet and this hurts a little bit, you really start looking around where you are. It's like this moment shows you, hey, open your eyes and have a look how beautiful this little place is. When you come here, especially if you have kids, you have the possibility to enjoy a wonderful lunch, but also the kids can go down to the little beach and explore what is here. They can explore the pebbles, they can explore the water and have a swim, they can find little crabs, they can just enjoy time. And this is so important in our period, in our time, because enjoying yourself Exploring new things is the most beautiful thing we can give our children. Luigi is one of the most important captains we have. I personally think that before he started speaking, he already knew how to drive a boat. His knowledge about the sea, the animals, the importance of how to be safe on a boat, the passion for the job he has is far beyond any expectations you can have for a captain. Lenny and Rosie grew up with him. It's lovely to know that they have a person like Luigi by their side because he has always time to show them new things and let them experience the sea. In this period, I don't have a lot of time for my girls. But I still try to find moments where we really enjoy being together. There is no perfect way to be a good mother. Each situation is unique. Every mother has different challenges, different skills and abilities. And certainly different kids. What matters is that a mother loves her children deeply.